Hey folks, Friday, Mark 4, verses 39 to 41. My name is Barry Henderson, and I'm one of the bivocational intern pastors here at Christ Greenfield. I work in the community during the week, and I serve at church on Sundays. Today, we're going to be jumping right back into the storm and right back into the boat where we left off yesterday, holding on for dear life. Mark 4, 39, verse 41. The disciples are freaking out. They are terrified, and rightly so. This storm is no joke. It is a doozy, friends. Water is entering the boat. They wake Jesus up, and I don't think they were calm about it either. Jesus, wake up! And I imagine Jesus waking up and sitting up on his pillow, rubbing his eyes, stretching out his arms, and his neck rebuking the wind and telling the sea be still instantaneously the wind and the sea obey him jesus has authority over creation just as much as he does over the illnesses and the demons of this world jesus then turns to his disciples why are you so afraid have you still no faith and they were filled with fear not from the storm anymore, but at who this man Jesus was. At this point in the story, the disciples doubt that Jesus is the Messiah and in fact will not acknowledge Him as such till much later in the story. Do you believe without a doubt that Jesus is the Messiah? Who do you say that He is? What are the storms in your life that Jesus is inviting you to have faith in that He can speak into and bring calmness and bring peace? <laughs> Ironically, the story in my life involved the sinking of an ocean vessel. And as I was faced with a possible four years in prison, I knew that Jesus was in control. I believed that no matter the outcome, God would shape me in ways no other experience would. The water was most definitely coming over the sides in my life. There were times I could do nothing but drop to my knees in prayer. There were moments I doubted my walk with Jesus. But God used my storm, not only to strengthen my walk, but those around me and my family thousands of miles away. As the news of the, of the situation spread through my hometown, brothers and sisters in Christ would show up at my parents' home to pray with them. People we did not even know, and to this day I do not know who they were. But what I do know is that Jesus showed up. Jesus drew my parents closer to Himself. And my mom is without a doubt in heaven today as her relationship with Jesus became real. And I would do it all over again. The outcome far outweighed the craziness of the storm. Have a wonderful day, my friends, and stay faithful.